This is episode 36 of the Life in Norway show. Today's episode was to be an interview with a Portuguese woman living in Oslo, but I've shifted the schedule around to bring you this short special update. The original episode will still air, so look out for that in a week or so. The topic today is, as I'm sure everyone will expect, the coronavirus in Norway. COVID-19 has disrupted everyday life in Norway like no other time outside of war. Uh, Much of the country is shut down, with tens of thousands of people, uh, including me, in home quarantine due to recent travels. Unfortunately, more than 100,000 people have been temporarily laid off due to the shutdown. That's quite something in a country with a, a population of just over 5 million Uh, The government has taken measures to guarantee their wages for at least the next few weeks. Uh, What happens after that? Well, we have to wait and see. At the time of recording, seven people have died in Norway from the virus, but sadly that number is sure to rise as there are 130 people hospitalised, of which 26 are in intensive care. Uh, More than uh, 2,000 people now have tested positive for COVID-19 in Norway, but with the limited testing that has taken place, who knows what the real number is. Uh, Of those to test positive, 190 medical staff have tested positive, and that has resulted in more than 9,000 people in the the medical world uh, sitting in quarantine. I've been publishing daily updates on the Life in Norway website and you can check lifeinnorway.net slash coronavirus for the latest articles uh, or just head on over to the homepage and you'll find them there. Uh, Even so, I've been receiving an incredible amount of questions from people in Norway uh, and people from all over the world. Uh, I wish I could help, but I am not an expert. Uh, My articles are based on only on the official advice and quotes from experts in the media. Uh, so some, if something is unclear, I am not the person to clarify it. Uh, I wish I was, but uh, I hope you can understand that, that I'm, uh, I'm not capable of handing out medical advice or advice on travelling right now. However, I will give uh, brief answers to the most common questions I've received so far, Uh, and point you in the right direction to get that official information. The most common question by far is, can I travel to Norway? And the answer is quite simply, no. Uh, Unless you live here, uh, and that means that you are a Norwegian citizen or you have a residence permit. Uh, For all other people, the borders are closed and you will be turned away if you manage to get a flight and arrive at Oslo Airport, you will be asked to uh, get straight back on a plane or you will be put in a compulsory 14-day quarantine. Now, as I understand it, the the government are using some hotels near the airport to house people uh, for the quarantine period. The best place to go for advice on travel is Visit Norway, which is visitnorway.com. They have uh, a page which is very easy to find on the homepage that keeps you up to date with the official guidance from Norway as it relates to international travellers. The case is a little different for travelling around Norway within the country. Uh, There are still internal flights. Many have been cancelled, but there is still a schedule uh, between the big cities, for example. There are also still local buses running here in Trondheim. I can see the buses running past my window and they are all basically empty, but they are running to ensure that uh, essential personnel can get to work uh, and so on. Some travel companies uh, here in Norway are offering refunds. Now, this information changes uh, all the time and is very much dependent on a whole heap of conditions. So you do need to check with uh, anyone you've booked with to see what uh, what applies to you. But I can tell you my story. I had a trip booked to Oslo for the first week in April, which uh, even if uh, in the unlikely situation that uh, all these restrictions are lifted by then, I am unlikely to want to go personally. Uh, the event I was traveling to has, of course, been cancelled. So uh, that involved a return flight with uh, Scandinavian Airlines, SAS, and uh, two nights in a hotel, uh, part of the Radisson chain. Now, the SAS have offered 
uh, free cancellation, but the, the refund is in the form of a travel voucher, which I will be able to use as part payment on a flight later in the year. Uh, and as for Radisson, uh, the hotel I'd actually booked is is actually closed. Uh, it's being, I believe it's being used uh, to house people uh, who need to undergo the quarantine. But uh, aside from that, Radisson are offering uh, free cancellation and free rebooking for all hotels uh, that are booked. I believe it's up until the end of April. So that's just an example. Uh, there are many other travel companies, of course, and I can't possibly list all the conditions. So the best thing to do is head to the homepage. Uh, if you can process these things online, do so, because the call centers are overwhelmed, understandably. It was actually very easy for me to cancel my SAS trip. Uh, it was done in, in seconds. Uh, and the Radisson, I have sent an email and I will see what happens. But anyway, the short answer is no, do not travel. And it's very advisable not to travel around Norway either. The second biggest question I've had is around the rules on home quarantine and home isolation or self-isolation. These are terms that are new to the majority of people. So it's no surprise that there's been a bit of confusion. It also doesn't help that the guidelines have changed since they were first introduced. First of all, home isolation or self-isolation. Uh, this is for people who have had a positive test result or people who have uh, strong symptoms, uh, suspect they are uh, infected but have not been tested. This simply means that you can't leave your house uh, and you're actually supposed to stay in, in a particular room, uh, keep away from other people that live in the house and if possible use uh, another bathroom and use your own towels and so on. Uh, home quarantine applies to various groups of people. Uh, first of all, anyone who is living with or has come into contact with someone who has tested positive is automatically home quarantined for 14 days, as is anyone who has returned from overseas. So any other country outside of Norway, uh, there were some exceptions, but I believe they've all now been lifted. So anyone who's made any international travel since and arrived back in the country since the 27th of February, that's the category I fall into. So I am actually under home quarantine myself. Uh, for 14 days, uh, and that ends in a couple of days, thankfully. Home quarantine is slightly less restrictive. Uh, essentially, you are still supposed to stay at home. Uh, you are not permitted to go to work. You are not permitted to use public transport. Uh, at one area of confusion, you are not supposed to go to the supermarket. Um, you are supposed to ask friends or, or uh, <laughs> whoever to, to do your shopping for you. There is an exception published on the Health Institute website, uh, and that applies to people who have no other option but to, to do their own shopping. And even then, you are asked to go at a very quiet time uh, and not interact with anyone. The one positive with home quarantine is you are actually allowed to leave the house to go for a walk. Um, that is something I've done every day because otherwise I would have gone stir crazy. Uh, but quite simply, uh, if you do leave the house, you need to stay away from people. If you are subject to these guidelines, I strongly advise you check the latest guidance with Folkehelseinstituta, which is the uh, Institute for Public Health here in Norway, uh, and their website is fhi.no, that's fhi.no, and there is uh, a fairly comprehensive English translation of the coronavirus uh, regulations if you don't read Norwegian. The uh, the last question I've been getting is one that uh, nobody can answer, let alone me, and that is uh, along the lines of this. Uh, I have travel booked to Norway in May, June, whenever. Should I travel? Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, you, look, I, I can't answer that. This is a pandemic. Nobody knows how long it will last. Nobody knows how long the restrictions will last. I understand that people are frustrated and... Uh, want want an easy answer, but there is no easy answer. Um, this is a personal choice you have to make. Maybe things will be back to normal by then. Maybe you will still not be able to travel. No one knows. If you want peace of mind, you can cancel the trip now. Uh, whether you get a refund or not, I have no idea. That depends on the travel companies involved. Just before I leave, I just <laughs> I want to finish with not not a piece of advice necessarily, but a request. If you are calling. Uh, 
like uh, airlines or uh, hotels or anyone like that at the moment to try and change your chip please have some patience i've had a lot of abusive emails myself when i've not been able to answer someone's question you know i'm a writer i i don't work in the health service i don't work at the the health institute i can't answer these questions so i can only imagine the uh, the hell it must be right now to work in a call center for one of these uh, companies so please bear that in mind uh, if you need to contact them just be nice to one another right now. It will uh, it will go a long way. I hope everyone listening is well and that your family and friends are well. Stay safe, everyone, and we'll be back soon with our regular episodes. Uh, one more time, you can head on over to lifeinnorway.net slash coronavirus for all the latest articles we have published. Thanks for listening. 